this tweet, but we just want to take a little bit of time. Uh, we may have a few gifts for you. Well, I told you not to do anything else for me. You're good. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know how we roll. You know how we roll. No, you guys are awesome. This means we try so, harder. Yeah, no, that's you, right. You know. That's right. You well, guys are awesome. We appreciate everyone coming out, getting together. Uh, Welcome you into the family after this hunt today. This is awesome. I know you were already kind of part of the family, but yeah. we like to bring new members in in style, right? And take them out to the ranch and uh, yeah. get yeah. pretty familiar with this place. So it's pretty awesome what DJ does for us, Mike, DJ Rams. Uh, I just want to go into chill a little bit. Like, I think it was pretty funny when we had the, our meeting to discuss you know, after Chris called us who we wanted to pick mm -hmm. for this. And it seemed like all three of us said it at the same time. Huh. Did we not? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it wasn't even like, I'm yeah. talking, I kind of talk a lot. So I'm talking, I'm like, hey, this kind of who I think. And we all are like, Joe. Yeah. That's Joe. awesome. And uh, we appreciate your support from day one. I mean, it started off on social media, right? Mm -hmm. Contacting us, yep. always wanting to help out. You brought Clint down to the shoot, which was yeah. awesome. Stud, you and Clint, yeah. his well, first experience guy. shooting. Yeah, guy. he's he's never been around guns or hunting or anything. That's he the just, part yeah. with him when he, yeah. we that ended shotgun. up shotgun yeah. and he ran like eight clay pigeons in a row. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, he hit yeah. every one of them. That's so. awesome. Yeah. yeah. And that's just kind of what it's all about right there, right? Yep. Like yes. it's our goal and our mission is to get people yep. out either that have been injured and don't think they can do it anymore or someone that's never done it, right? Mm -hmm. Get the enjoyment that we all get by going out and enjoying the outdoors. I mean, yeah. there's nothing more that I want to do than get out of the city and go hang out mm -hmm. no matter where it is, just getting away, right? So uh, that's kind of our big push this year. Yep. We reached out to Clint with, uh, Wheelchairs in the wild, you know, Clint Robinson, yep. you remember him? Yep, good guy. So he hand tooled this for you to go on that new wow. rifle. So yeah. Check very that first out. disabled outdoors oh, win, Utah gun slings. That's way cool. Yeah. That That's is the really first one that came out. That's so cool. Yeah. cool deal. We were the one and only there. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. he trumped all of us because we all requested one and he made one for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's way cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And we also they spelled wanted. your name right yeah okay good. Yeah. <laughs> just check it no yeah. it's just j-o what yeah <laughs> yeah that's awesome and we also want to recognize you for all the work that you do with the youth doing all the classes you do i mean that's what we we all talk about and you know you hear a lot on social media about bringing the youth bringing the youth into mm -hmm. our community you actually do it every day you are working with those youth teaching them you know, ethical hunting, teaching them how to shoot, mm -hmm. safety, you know, all the key items and just getting them out and kind of getting them to enjoy the mm -hmm. wildlife and the outdoors. So that's one big thing that we recognize that you do and we really appreciate Thank you. it and yeah, want to work more with you. Yeah, yeah. That, that part we really want to work because yeah. that's the future of, of what we're doing right here, you know, future of conservation mm -hmm. and, and the youth. And I think that gets overlooked sometimes by a lot of people. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hats off to you. For Thank you. you. Yeah. Nice so, there, man. Thank you. Thank you. And this is the first time I met you, but I've heard lots about you. And yeah. uh, <laughs> Joe speaks very highly of you. So uh, we thank you for coming as well and yeah. supporting Joe and letting him mm -hmm. come and hang out with us when he does and uh, come into our shoots and helping out. Yep. So we really appreciate you too. We're excited. He loves, he loves helping out, doing anything he can. So yeah. sure. he's always looking for things to do to help out in any way yeah. so we know if there's a good man out there there's even a better woman behind him yep. <laughs> that's that's why i'm here so, yep yeah we appreciate yep. we appreciate you and then uh sid has something else too he kind of wanted to add yeah to this so i have a piece of gum in my pocket no, <laughs> is it warm or is it fresh it's it's fresh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Deep pocket, all right so this here is a custom knife made by uh, a buddy of mine um, and he's been a good um, uh, con contributor to uh, Disabled Outdoorsman. We have here a custom Pine Ridge knife, okay. Pine Ridge Knife Company. He's got uh, uh, elk. This is an elk horn right here. This is the elk hunting edition version of it. And the sheaths are custom as well. So, so Chris, I know you, you met Chris at lunch when we surprised you. Uh, I just want to ask Chris a few questions and uh, Kind of tell a story how this all came about. I know we kind of grew up together a little bit younger than me, but uh, 
social media and social media and social media, right? Like, <laughs> pays off. And uh, we couldn't do any of this without all the volunteers. Like, this group, we're, we're less than a year out. And I think we've already had this year over a dozen big game hunts, probably. Uh, we had our shoot. We had the fishing tournament. We're already lining up for another fishing tournament, another shoot, and everything's just getting bigger and bigger. And I think next year we're going to have 30 big, probably 30 big game opportunities. So we can't do this without people like you. So I just want to let everyone know how, on your side of the story, why you decided to reach out to me and uh, what this means to you. And we just want you to know that we're very much appreciative of what you do and reaching out. And we couldn't, this whole weekend wouldn't came about without you so very much appreciative of that so this year i actually started something new that i've never done before and i decided that i was going to make a donation every month and so for all of the months i kind of sought out something a little bit different right like you know try to find a different piece that somebody was in need you know and it was like didn't have to be like a certain uh, you know it was kind of i kind of wanted it to be totally random totally just out of the blue, you know, and, and most of everything that I've found this year, I've done off of Facebook. I've just scrolled through somebody who needed help. There was, you know, I, there was a kid that needed some medication one month for his diabetes. So, you know, it was just stuff that I've seen on Facebook. And then I come across one of your posts and I was like, oh, this would be an awesome one, right? Like, this is just something else to kind of tie into the randomness of 2020. Right, and it was, it's kind of weird because I started it and didn't realize how bad 2020 was going to be for a lot of folks, right? Yep. And I never even told my wife why I did it. But somebody came to me in December of last year and they're like, you make a big donation in December, but people need this all year long. And so I started doing it all year. And it's like, I'm so blessed with what I have in life. So blessed. And doing this just makes it so that I can feel like I'm giving back, right? Like I'm not just taking my share in the world today. I just feel like it's something that I'm giving back, letting other people enjoy what I take for granted or my kids might take for granted. So. For me, it's really just more enjoyment for me to watch somebody else enjoy it as much as I do. We appreciate it. Joe, awesome. what does this mean to you? Yeah, this is just this was a surprise to me, man. I, I I grew up hunting, but I've always had help. I was born with spina bifida and have a hard time getting out in the you know getting out in the mountains. But my dad and grandfather, uncles, brothers. You know, always made sure that I was able to get out and have fun and enjoy it. And this, this, what you guys do here, this is amazing. You know, um, whether you're born with it or happens to you after the fact, I mean, it's just a, it's just a great, uh, organization to be a part of. Just amazing. Really grateful to be a part of it. We appreciate you guys and Chris, we really appreciate you for reaching out. And I, I didn't know about the monthly thing, so that's. That's, that's even awesome. cooler. That's that's pretty awesome. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day that we able to meet together as a group to go hunting and for the safety of their travels and and uh, for all the help that has been graciously put into this and for opportunity that uh, Joe will have with us, we could do so in safety and no harm or accident will come upon us. And we're grateful of Thee, Lord, for all the blessings that You have given us and the opportunities that we have in life and, and uh, please bless our families as we're away that they're protected and we ask these things kindly Lord in the name of thy son Jesus Christ Amen, Amen. Amen. Amen.
one that, that just walked back. in the middle. There's one, there's one laying down under the tree, and then there's a dark one oh, on the right yeah. and another one on the left. And one behind the rock. What? Oh, the one behind, one, oh, I can't. That, okay. that one behind the rock, you can't see him right now. No, there he is. Oh, there. He's, uh, yeah, he's on cool. the far side of that. Oh, oh yeah, okay, I see sitting. another one. There was another one that just oh, popped yeah. up to the right of the rock that was laying down. But yeah, and that there's one, one laying down still. There's two laying down behind the one under the tree and one behind the rock. black one that just walked to the left of the other one there on the far left there the left I don't know what tag it's got on it's a black and white ram he's standing broadside next to the on the far left there oh shit I'm not shooting. <laughs> I, I can't shoot now. So where's Goldie at? Do you see him at all? Is he on the tail end there? Is that him on the tail end? No, they're not going to stop. They're going to keep going. <laughs> That's awesome. That was awesome. That one, that one is got a green tag, so that's good, and it's got a long mane. Yeah. He kind, he's turned around for a second. He's kind of aggressive, so maybe that's the one. Yeah, the right there kind of yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. He, he's the one. yeah, he's got a few right behind him. Yeah. Is he behind that, that yellow one there? Yeah, he's behind it. Mm -hmm. And he 
circle back in the middle. Uh -huh. Right there in the front? Yeah. The one on the far left or the second one? Far left. Right there. Okay, he's, he's. Oh, the one that just bit him? Oh, the one that just bit him? Not him. The, Not him. One, the one, one in front of him. Front. Yeah. Okay. He can freaking stop. And he just turned to his butt. He's the one in the front now. Yep. He's got one behind him. Yep. He's come back yep. towards us. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's a cool looking ram right there. Yeah, right there. Okay, ready? By himself to the right, the yeah. left there. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's circling. Yeah. You got him. You got him. Oh, <laughs> okay. You got him. Holy crap! He's done. Oh yeah. He's done. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy crap. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. This is this is just incredible, you guys. Nope. No, I'm not. Ugh.